Hey signers, do you enjoy playing games with your family and friends or even in your classroom with your students? Have you tried to play a game using ASL? Well, in this video, I am going to teach you how to incorporate ASL into games you probably already have sitting in your closet. Each of these games that I'm going to share with you are focusing on different aspects of ASL. Of course, you can pick any game and work on an ASL skill that you want to see improvement on. Now, let's learn how to sign with games. Game number one, Battleship. In Battleship, we're focusing on our letters and numbers. In Battleship, two players hide their ships on a grid and take turns guessing where their opponent's ships might be. They call out the coordinates like A, three, to try to find and sink the hidden ship. The player who finds and sinks all of their opponent's ships first wins. So how would you incorporate ASL in this? Well, just like you saw before, whenever I said A, three, I signed it. This is a way to practice your alphabet and your number skills. It's fun to maybe do a silent game with your kids and incorporate those letters and numbers. Now, you might be thinking, Meredith, six and nine look a lot like W and F. Well, remember whenever you set up the game, you do the letter first and then the number. So stay with that sequence so that way, whenever that number does come up, you know it's a number and not a letter. Now, when somebody hits your ship, you can sign hit like this. And then if somebody misses, miss. What about an explosion? You hit and exploded my ship. Now, what if you sink the ship? Look at this. This three is making the shape of a boat and then it's sinking down below the water. You sunk my ship. Game number two, gestures. The reason for playing this game is to practice your expressive skills. Gestures is a fun game where you have to act out words or phrases without talking. Your friends have to guess what you're acting like charades. You only have a short time to act, so you have to be quick and silly to win. Personally, I loved playing this game in my classroom at the beginning of the school year. The reason I did this was to teach my students to get out of their comfort zone and to stop focusing on just, I need to know the sign for every single thing, but how do I expressively show something that I'm signing? Or how do I communicate without using words? If you've ever watched any of my videos, I talk about the five parameters of sign. Hand shape, palm orientation, location, movement, and non-manual signals. Non-manual signals are so important to ASL. It involves your facial expression and your body language. Say you get a card and you know the sign for it. Don't use the sign, but rather act it out. The goal of this game is to not show that you know the sign, but to show that you can express yourself. Plus, that would be cheating. Game number three, guess who? The focus of this game is to practice asking questions and giving descriptions. In Guess Who, you and your friend each have a board with pictures of people's faces, but you can't see each other's boards. You take turns asking yes or no questions to figure out who your friend's mystery person is. Like, does your person have glasses? The first one to guess their opponent's mystery person wins. So how do you incorporate ASL in this game? Well, you're going to ask an answer in ASL. So if you were to ask the person if they had brown eyes, you would sign. Your eyebrows go up, you point to them, eyes brown. What about, do you have short hair? Notice that each time I did my eyebrows up because I was asking a question that required a yes, no response. Then your opponent would respond yes or no. If you wanna learn how to describe a person, we have a video linked right in the description for you. Then if you think you figured out the person, you would then go, 
just fingerspell it. And for any of you teachers out there, if you had multiple of these games, you could do it around the class where they could continue practicing these skills from table to table to table. I personally had eight to 10 copies in my classroom and it was a lot of fun whenever we were in our descriptive unit. Hopefully you find these games helpful in your ASL journey. What other games can you think of that you could incorporate in your family game night using ASL? Leave your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to make this into another video. Also, if you're interested in buying any of these games, I've linked them in the description. And until next time, keep learning how to sign.